Hey everybody, Tracy Tutting, medical herbalist and high performance coach. Hey, thanks for listening to today's podcast episode. Today I'm talking about stress and anxiety and my favorite herb of the times, skullcap. And I'm also going to be taking you through a traditional medicine way of getting to know your herbs better. We call it organoleptic tasting. So let's get started. Well, hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the Project Joyful Podcast. I'm your host, Tracy Tuttick, your medical herbalist and high performance coach. So, hey, Project Joyful isn't just about being happy. It's about consciously creating a life you love. It's about remembering how to reconnect with your soul-centered joy. You know, that joy that comes from doing what you love, from living on purpose, and from being in a life that allows you to experience deep joy moment by moment. So, hey, let's get started, shall we? I'm using a lot of skullcap in my herbal medicine practice at the moment. And it's interesting because I'll often review my recent prescriptions to see if there's an emerging herb. You know, one that's been called upon more than its brothers and sisters. It's an interesting reflection on a sign of our times. Now, for those of you listening from overseas, the Delta variant of COVID has made it to our shores in New Zealand. So we're locked down once more. I've noticed in addition to the stress and anxiety that comes with being locked in with your loved ones, you know, the homeschooling or perhaps there's some financial difficulties. You know, things are feeling a little tired and a little difficult. There's a new conversation emerging, and it's in relation to how readily the Delta variant can spread. It's any additional source for the feelings of stress, anxiety, and just feeling worn out. You know, worn out by this roller coaster of lockdowns. And then Skullcap emerges, making herself known. Pick me, she says. Because Skullcap is the herb to support you through times of stress and overwhelm, it's the perfect choice for what we're living with at the moment. Now, skullcap is a Native American herb. Its Latin name is Scutellaria latiflora, and it's my go-to herb for busy executives, overwhelmed parents, and stressed-out students and workers. It calms anxiety and nervous tension without making you feel drowsy, so you don't get that morning hangover associated with sleeping tablets and herbs that are deeply sedating. Now, you can take skullcap as a tablet or as a tincture or a tea. My favourite way is a cup of tea. So what's a tincture? A tincture is when a herb is macerated in a combination of alcohol and water. The plant's removed from the mix. The mix is called a menstruum. The plant is called a mark. And it leaves the plant chemicals or phytochemicals behind in that mixture. Now for a tea, because we're using aerial parts for skullcap, we make it as a tea. So we put it in a teapot or a cup with a covered lid, pour some boiling water over it and leave it for two to five minutes. Now I find a cup of fresh skullcap tea, it's just like wrapping yourself in silk. It's that warm, soothing hug that you can't help but sink into. So this American skullcap belongs to the Lamiaceae family, the mint family. And it's got that balanced yet complex combination that you find in most mints, which is cooling, but it's also faintly bitter. Herbalists refer to it as a nerving or a trophorestorative. And in traditional medicine, this means that it heals and supports the body in rebuilding the nervous system. It's traditionally used in times of physical and mental exhaustion and to support sleep in a gentle rather than a knock-you-out kind of way. My teacher always used to refer to it as the one that helps you keep your hat on. I love it. And it's great for calming the scattered thinking that comes from having too many balls in the air. Now, in theory, this is one to avoid if you're pregnant or lactating. And like all herbs, work with a medical herbalist if you're taking medication. So as I said, we use the aerial part. So that's the bits above the ground, the green bits. And it can be taken as a tea, a tincture or a tablet. But the best way to get a sense of your herb is with organoleptic tasting. What's organoleptic tasting, I hear you ask? Well, It's the traditional way of understanding how a herb interacts with your body. You see, your body knows exactly what it needs to heal itself. For example, if you cut your hand, your body immediately gets to work, using what it's got to hand to begin the process of repair. And my job as your herbalist is to connect you with the herbs that your body is already searching for. And you can do this too for your own well-being needs 
by using organoleptic tasting to understand how a particular herb affects you. And in my Triple Your Energy program, I talk you through this in detail. And I've also got handy resources so that it makes it easy to record what you're noticing. But here's an outline of what you do. So organoleptic tasting is all about using all of your senses to get to know your herb. And the way that it affects your body is something that we call in traditional medicine an appropriation. So start with what you see once you've poured your cup and you've poured it into the cup. Before you've even taken a sip, how would you describe the colour? Are there images that come to mind when you're looking at that colour, words that come to mind? Just take a moment and just really notice the many colours within your cup. Next, bring the cup to your nose. Inhale gently and inhale deeply. How do you feel? What are you thinking about? What are you remembering or imagining? What sensations in your body are you becoming aware of? Now for the taste. Like a fine wine, allow the tea to wash over all parts of your tongue and hold that tea in your mouth. And then once you've really got a sense of it in your mouth, then you swallow it. And what do you see in your mind's eye when you're doing this? What thoughts or words are coming to mind? Where do you feel this tea in your body and how does it feel to you? Interestingly, when you do this with a group of people, you'll notice similar themes and descriptions and images coming up. And these are the general qualities of your herb. What you uniquely feel is how that herb interacts with all the wonderful, unique things about you. Now, you could describe organoleptic tasting as an exercise in mindfulness, and that in itself can be calming and relaxing. But combine that with the attributes of Skullcap, and you'll find yourself beginning to feel a little better about the world you find yourself in today. Sending you lots of love. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for listening to today's podcast. Can I ask you a favour? If our conversation spoke to you today, could you please take a moment to leave a five-star review? Your review will help people discover this podcast and together we can create a world where there's even more love and more laughter. And if you want to hear more from the Project Joyful podcast, just click the subscribe button. Bye for now.